Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash am I the asshole? But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid. User she's I raised by wolves posted this one. Eight mozzarella sticks that were so good I actually cried. What do you think? Drunk or a kid? This sounds like a drunk to me. I love you cheese stick. Find out at the end of the video. Am I the asshole for stealing my ex-best friend's kids? So growing up, my best friend Amber and I were inseparable. We grew up next door to each other. She was even the first person I came out to and was the biggest supporter after. But when she was 19, Amber got pregnant. The father wanted nothing to do with it and went completely off the map. Amber didn't want to have an abortion and decided she was going to have the baby. I agreed to help her every step of the way, but she then found she was having twins. This resulted in her having to drop out of college once she gave birth. I tried to help to the best of my abilities, but I myself was a broke college student. Because of this, she fell into a deep depression and treated it with alcohol and eventually drugs. And she started doing stupid things that put her kids in harm's way. She never intentionally hurt the kids, but her actions due to her substance abuse have put the kids in extreme danger on multiple occasions. She eventually got reported by DCS by an anonymous party and her kids were taken from her. She herself asked me to agree to take them so they wouldn't go into foster care, which I did. She was allowed visitation, but she would show up drunk and or high. This was not a pretty side of her. She'd do and say stuff that would scare the kids. We tried to start physical fights with me and my fiancé. And on multiple occasions, she downright insult us, mostly using homophobic insults on us. Then she showed up high out of her mind, talking no sense, and tried to run off with the kids. And when we wouldn't let her, she completely trashed our apartment. That was the last straw. We called the cops and she was arrested. Me and my fiancé agree not to press charges if she agreed to give up her custody rights. She agreed to sign the papers. This all happened over the span of two and a half years. She also had a few drug charges that we had no control over, but she ended up getting probation for those and is now posting about how we stole her kids. She's still a heavy drug user and is completely converted to homophobia. She tells people we are corrupting her children with our relationship. Now here's the part that might make me the asshole. I was the anonymous reporter. I reported her in the first place. I never thought she'd lose her kids, as I wasn't aware of how bad she was in the hole with her drug use. I was just hoping the visit might get her to straighten up her act. So, am I the asshole for stealing my ex-best friend's kids? Rouge Admiral Annie had this to say down in the comments. Not the asshole. You didn't steal those kids. You saved them. Oh man, that's a predicament no one wants to be in. You did the right thing though. The safety of the children is the most important thing. It's a shame that losing them wasn't a wake-up call for the mother and I hope she gets the help she needs. This next story was posted by Blue Blee Blue. Am I the asshole for pressing charges? My cousin turned 18 recently. She's in high school. She doesn't have a car and during her birthday weekend thought her parents were going to buy her one. They didn't get her one and she was pretty upset. I should note that I'm not very close with my cousin or the rest of my extended family for that matter. I only heard this through the grapevine from my dad. Anyway, my cousin texts me on the Friday before her birthday asking if she can take my car. I just leased a new Ford Escape to the mall and then for an out of town road trip with her friends over the weekend. I tell her no. She begs and pleads with me. I tell her no again. My car is for me to drive and for me only. If she wants her own car, she can save up and buy one. She calls me a bitch and says that I've ruined her birthday and that she's embarrassed because her friends think she got a car for her birthday and she doesn't have one. I don't respond to her and think nothing of it. The weekend comes in and I sleep very late on that Saturday, waking up at 1pm. Don't judge, lol. Even though my car is parked in my driveway and my gate is closed, I come to realise that someone egged and TP'd my car with many, many eggs and five to six rolls of TP. And since the weather was warm outside, the raw egg baked into my car, along with the dried up toilet paper, destroying the paint. 
Since I have security cameras around my house, I decided to go back and watch. At around 9.30ish that morning, I see my cousin and a bunch of her stupid friends vandalising my car. I'm surprised she didn't smash the windows and poke holes in the tyres too. To save my post from the 3,000 character limit, I obviously press charges and my cousin is in legal trouble. Her and her parents are pissed off at me for pressing charges. Her parents tell me that she's just a kid and that she's been through a lot of emotional stress during virtual schooling for this past year and that I should take that into consideration and that I should be ashamed of myself for pressing legal charges against my baby cousin. That I'm almost 30 and don't I remember what it was like at that age? I do remember and I wasn't stupid enough to egg anyone's car. Can't she work something out with me like doing chores around my house for money if I drop the charges? That she's young, that she doesn't need a felony in her record and that it was just a prank. Right after I pressed charges, my cousin was calling and texting me over and over that this could have been avoided had I let her take my car. I need to add that my cousin already has a felony on her record, a DUI. She's not remorseful of anything. Also, my aunt and uncle will not pay me for the damages. They just want me to drop the charges and pay for everything myself like nothing happened. They are cheap. Am I the asshole in this situation? I think down in the comments, Viper Bunny summed it up the best. I know people want to keep kids out of trouble and not involve the police, but what she did caused serious damage. It isn't on the OP to find ways for this kid to make it up to him. The fact the parents don't take responsibility either tells me the kid would never keep up her end of it and would be a hassle. No, she wanted to commit a crime because she didn't get her way. She can face the consequences of her actions. She already has a DUI and now this. She is going to end up in adult prison and it is going to be her own doing with or without OP reporting her. With parents enabling this type of bad behaviour instead of admonishing it, this girl won't stay out of jail for long. By them trying to get her off the hook, validates the behaviour of the daughter. This last post was posted by Am I the Asshole Throw 990. Am I the asshole ruining my friend's birthday party by taking back the cake I baked for her? My friend is quirky. She was never diagnosed with anything, but she is very clueless sometimes. I have had to spell things out for her a lot. A few months back, she borrowed a dress of mine. I really love that dress. There isn't any sentimental value, but I got it when we were on vacation a few years ago. She also loved the dress and one day just transferred the money to my account and told me that she was keeping the dress. I spoke to her, but she just told me that it doesn't matter she'd paid me. Her birthday was a week ago and her mum asked me to make a big cake for her. I usually sell cakes cheap, little more than ingredients cost. On her birthday, I went over to her house with the cake 15 minutes before the party was due to start and then decided to talk to her mother. Like I said, sometimes my friend is really clueless sometimes and I was hoping her mum would speak to her and get my dress back. I was very shocked when she also said that as long as I was paid, what does it matter? She told me just to move on as it was just a dress and that my friend really liked it. She told me as long as the dress was paid for, what am I complaining about? I got really pissed off and pulled out the amount she had just paid me, put it on the table, picked up the cake and left. She got mad and started yelling at me that I was ruining the party. I kept walking back to my house. She kept telling me to give back the cake and that I couldn't take it back just because I want to be petty. I just asked what she was complaining about as I had paid back the money. My friend ended up having a cake for 16th birthday because of this. Am I the asshole here? Down in the comments that wild mongoose had this to say. I would just get $200 in singles and go shopping in their house. I would collect the TV remote and leave 20 bucks in its place. Grab the laptop charger and leave another 40. Frames of family photos, drop another 10. Handles to their kitchen cabinets, two bucks a piece. Caps to all their pens, five dollars. I think that is actually hilarious and let's hope that mother and daughter learn a lesson. You can't just take someone's stuff and send them money to pay for it. Okay, back to our slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who cried over the fried cheese? It was... A kid. They were really good. They had the perfect ratio of breading, cheese and spice. 
It was probably my young teen hormones that let open the floodgates at the bowling alley. I haven't had anything close since. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.